In this video, I would like to show you how to retrieve text box values using PHP. First, let's take a look at the HTML. In HTML, there are two ways of coding checkboxes. We can give each one of them the same name, or we can give them all a different name. So if the names are unique, you would be retrieving the values one by one. If the names are the same, the values will be overwritten. Therefore, in PHP, we need to make our checkboxes an array. We do this by adding the brackets after the common name. So you actually have to go in and change the HTML in the event that they all have the same name to turn them into an array for PHP. So I am processing this form with my action, which is a separate page, which will display the results. I would like to show you step by step how to test that the values are coming back correctly. First of all, I will check a couple checkboxes and I will hit send survey. I'm showing a couple messages up here. These messages are for me. So I start out with my if is set function. Remember, if something is not checked, no value will be returned. So we don't want to start storing values or outputting anything until we know that we have a value to output. So here's my if condition, and here's my echo letting me know something is checked. We also have this else so that I can test that nothing was checked. So we see the result of our isSet function, and we know something has been checked. So now we can continue with the rest. Now we are going to create a variable to store the results of our checkbox. So here's my variable, and we have dollar underscore post. We have worked with this expression before. We will be returning all of the values. We will be storing all of the values in this variable because pet is an array. Next, I will use the print underscore r function to output the values of the array. That's how I can test whether or not the values being checked are indeed being returned correctly. You always want to test every value to make sure that you can retrieve it. So now I'm just going to check everything. Here you can see the result of my print underscore r function. Here we have array position zero dog, position one cat, position two bird, all the way up to pig, which is position seven. So at this point, we know that our values are being returned correctly. Now for fun, we're going to get the count. So here I have a variable, which I will store the number of elements in the array, and I'll pass my expression dollar underscore post and in brackets pet to the count function. And here's my test echo statement. Now, let me just also point out that these echo statements are in the top of the document. They're just for testing, and ultimately, you would eventually comment them out. There were eight. And it's always a good idea to go back, and we can change our responses here. And we can do it again, just to make sure things that work. Now we're going to use our for each loop to loop through our array. And here is the syntax. I am using the variable dollar pet underscore checked to hold the value. Again, I have a test echo statement. I'm concatenating two literals with my value just so that I can see everything. And I have checked everything here. I will click send, and here we see the output from our for each loop. So this is essentially what is going to go into our response, but we'll make it look a little nicer. 
before we go any further, I forgot to look at our final else. Remember, in the beginning, we have our if is set condition, and because we did indeed check something, we are executing all of this code. However, we didn't check our else in the event that the user did not check anything. So here is the form, nothing is checked. And here we have our response. So indeed, our if else is working correctly. Back to the for each, I've commented out the echo. It's just not needed anymore. And what we're going to do, here is our output in the body for the message. So we're going to build our string here. We're going to start out with saying, you have the following pets, and we have a line break. And now in our for each, we're going to loop through that array, and we're going to add to that message. So we have the concatenation operator dot equal. Here's our value, concatenated with a break. And we will continue to loop through that array. So everything is checked. I click send. And here we have all of our pets being displayed. Now if we look at the source code, it doesn't look very pretty. We'll fix that up soon. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to fix up our source code. And I've already commented out the echo statements that are just testing. Here's our message variable. And we want to put carriage returns after this. And I always use the backslash and backslash r to be cross-platform, as some systems use one and some systems use the other. We are building our string in our for each loop. So what we will do is we will also add our carriage returns after the statement. However, we need several tabs in order to move everything over so it lines up nicely inside the paragraph. So when I check all my boxes and click send, here is my result on the web page. If I right click and choose view source, I will see that everything indeed is nicely formatted.